All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, as you know, I'm injured. You see, I got my, my nifty tools here with me. Uh, but today, what we're gonna talk about uh, it is kind of one of the tactile drills that we do with our, our dogs. Uh, we're gonna be doing it with some of our puppies. They're just about 11 months old. Uh, and, and what we're really trying to get them used to is being handled by different people, being picked up, being put down, being passed to a person beside them. We really want them to get used to that. Um, so we started these drills, uh, similar drills when they were really young. This is gonna be their first time doing this drill. So you're gonna kind of watch and get to see the, the process. Uh, it's important that we start it with young puppies, but for those of you with older working dogs that may be in a military unit, maybe in a, a SWAT team, or just your average patrol dog, um, these kind of drills can be really useful because we want to desensitize them, again, to someone handling them, someone holding them, picking them up. It can help them out, uh, you know, if we have an operator that needs to pass one dog to another operator through a window, over a fence. Oh, look at those reflexes, boys. Yeah. See, down here's not working too good, but up here, <laughs> fast. Uh, but, you know, if, if a handler needs to pass it to another handler or to another operator, um, you know, if there's a medical emergency, you know, a dog is injured or, or you know, a, a handler is injured and someone else needs to be able to pick up and transport that dog. So these are kind of some of the drills that we do to try and get them used to that. So stay tuned and we're going to go right to it. You know, Mike, I was thinking, yeah. why is it that we carry them in that way and just kind of fold them in with their legs on the inside? You know what? That's a great sporadic, unplanned question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the reason why we, we hold them uh, kind of in that manner, you see that the arms outside of the legs, um, is because we can hold them tight to our body and it kind of eliminates their ability to use their paws to push off of us and get leverage and then put themselves kind of in a dangerous situation, right? So we go around the front um, on the outside, around the back on the outside by their license plate, hold them tight to you, and then lift up, maintaining a good posture uh, to save your back. Uh, and, you know, it, it helps keep the dog safe. So that's a bonus, bonus question from Guy himself. All right, so what our plan is, um, we're gonna first start the kind of the progressions. Uh, we got Allie and Guy gonna do the heavy lifting because I can't right now, um, but they're gonna pick the dogs up. So the, the key to, is how we pick them up also. So we're gonna take our hand, put it behind their, their rear legs and underneath their tail near their license plate. Um, and then we're gonna take our other hand and put it in front of their, their front legs by their chest and kind of tilt a little bit and kind of lift them up that way. When we lift them up, the goal is for them to not go into kind of a frantic state. If they do go into a frantic state, we're gonna kind of just wait them out. If they don't go into that frantic state, you're gonna hear a at the right moment that we wanna pay the dogs for. They're all charged and, and the clicker means, hey, job well done to them. So when they hear that click, they're gonna say, oh, I gotta do that again. Even if it's this passive behavior. So we want this passive behavior to just really be what gets them the reinforcer. So they're gonna grab the dogs and then we're gonna do that. So guy's gonna pick him up, he's gonna get under his tail by his license plate. Hand all the way, hold on, hold on, hold on. All the way over to his hip. Yeah, there you go. Pick up. Uh, down and face. Oh man. Uh, I could probably lane. have you pass though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry? I could probably have him pass them to me when we yeah. get there. So we're gonna rinse and repeat. Let's do let's do another one. notice like as guys getting down there to pick uh, Randall up uh, he's getting a little bit uncomfortable right guy because he's not using proper lifting posture and technique uh, but Randall because it, it's kind of a new thing for him right so you can kind of see his posture kind of freeze up a little bit so what we're looking for in the dog eventually is for them to kind of be excited about it right and just be cool let's go wanting to jump up into our arms so we can go back to, to yeah, filming them Awesome, so Allie, you take over the clicking right now. All right, got it, thank you. So see, there's that kind of posturing, a little bit uncomfortable, it's just cool, we're cool with it. Um, we just don't want him to stay there, right? So the guy's gonna lift him up. Uh, he goes back down, he gets paid. 
So one of the things that we're also doing with them, if you notice, we're not paying them when Guy is holding him up in the air, he's not getting paid. Uh, because we're trying to actually reinforce uh, this kind of calm attitude of him. So we don't want him to get super over aroused and over excited to be up in Guy's arms, um, but we don't want him to feel uncomfortable up there either, right? So it's dancing that kind of fine line. So these chargers, these, these markers are charged for them. Um, so they're, they're getting that click and that click takes a picture in that moment for him of like, oh, that's what I should be doing. We, he gets put down and then he gets his primary reinforcer afterwards. That's it. Do you want me to click? Am I clicking? Am I clicking? Yeah. Oh, it's a couple. There you go. That's fine. All right. Let's go back to me. All right, so now what we're gonna do, you saw the first little uh, bit of reps with Randall. Uh, now we're gonna practice passing him. So one person has him and passes him to the next person. So we'll get some, some footage right here. Good. So pass to Allie. We like that, we look at Randall, he's calm. Good. Uh, and, and we're letting him kind of decide who pays him right now, right? It's either Allie or Guy, both of them are armed with, with his food, his primary reinforcer. So now Allie's gonna try and get him up. Oh, oh. There we go, pass the guy. Good. Good. Good man. And then we're gonna end his session right there. Good stuff, bud. <laughs> that was, so there were some reps there with Randall. We were gonna cut the session um, before we got to passing, but because he was doing fine and he wasn't freaking out or getting super hyper or excited, uh, we decided to move him and do a couple pass and handovers. Um, next, we're gonna grab Clive, he's from the same breeding, and we're gonna try some reps with him, and I'm sure we'll see some differences in each dog. So you can see a little bit of arousal. He probably thinks he's about to do bite work, to be honest with you. So he's up. Ooh, a good boy. Jeez. Good. Do you want to click for him out? Sure. Since you're right there. All right, so same thing. So you can see he knows reinforcers coming from Allie right now. So what we could do after is just get Allie to kind of step back away from him. Good. Like that. Goes down. He gets paid, tangles himself up, and then we reset. So what you can see here, uh, there's already differences in these two dogs, right? Like Clive is a little bit more kind of bouncy with what's going on, uh, where Randall was a little bit more reserved. Um, so we just take note, both of the dogs are doing well, just very different temperaments, right? So we're gonna try again, we'll cut back and see how Clive's doing. saw there he got a little bit he got a little bit squirmy while he was up in the air and, and Allie did great she didn't mark him when he was in that kind of squirmy behavior we waited for him to just chill out for a split second and then he got paid so let's try uh, let's try a hand off this one kind of wiggly as Allie was talking and approached him. So one thing we could adjust is we'll tell the handlers, hey, let's just be quiet, don't say anything. Two, if we get there and he doesn't get wiggly, maybe we just click and don't actually hand him off yet. So we use successive approximation in this as well. So let's try one of those where you don't hand him off, guy, you just hold him up, Allie, you walk in, and then uh, we mark and uh, bam. Just 
do one more with him and then we'll put him up. Good stuff. <coughs> Alright, so you can see the difference is just kind of in those two dogs' temperaments right there, right? So some adjustments that I would probably make for Clive is the next time we do it, I'll probably get the original handler that's picking him up just to give him some food in front of him on the ground. Um, we're, we're not putting them in any obedience behaviors. We're not asking him to sit or down or anything right now. So just kind of lure him with some food, let him kind of eat on your hand, and then go and pick him up. Uh, but then, perfect. It was perfect sessions for me. All right, so we're gonna do one more puppy. Um, it's Henrietta, she's gonna come in. She's also from that same litter. Uh, and we're just gonna, one, again, kind of, we wanna display how you can do this, this drill um, with different dogs. So obviously they're from the same litter. They're gonna have kind of similar temperaments, but there are gonna be the differences between each dog. So Henry will come in next, or, or she'll be our final dog, um, and then we'll kind of take it from there. So again, you can see pretty different temperaments, right? Just from puppy to puppy to puppy. Uh, yes. Let her try and get a go with guy. So, and, and then you guys can continue doing that. So some of the progressions that we can also make with this, right, is one, passing it to someone in front of us. Eventually, we, we can probably get to the point, or we will get to the point, where someone can pick the dog up, maybe walk with that dog, you know, 30 yards, hand the dog off, the next person can walk with that dog, really kind of just changing what's going on with them. Um, and, and, and letting them see those different pictures, right? We start here, we let them know what's going on, and then we increase our criteria as they start to understand the behavior more. We start with really small baby steps and progress until it becomes a more complex and, and kind of intense behavior. Yeah, you have a tail over there. So that's what the, the behavior is that we're looking for, kind of just relaxed, calm, hanging out, not doing anything wild and crazy. Uh, there, you see when that flicker goes, she starts to go again. Awesome, let's try a hand off. Okay. I'm going to do it too. a little wiggly worm. So again, I guess something that should be stated is we have to be careful that there's not in these moments that we don't <laughs> that, that we don't mess around and, and drop the dog from up high and they hurt themselves, right? Because it could just take that one single event learning to kind of set us back so far. Um, it's why building resilience into your puppies and into your dogs is super important because mistakes do happen, right? But we want to avoid those mistakes as well. Awesome. What we're going to do that we got three of you so now because Henry's doing pretty well, we're going to try and pass one, two, and three. Michael P. just couldn't stand to not be on camera. By the way, Michael... You can let her, you can let her get that. Oh, she's pulling after the food. Alright, you start. Alright, let's do it for the short kings. Michael, 
just, just watch your paws, make sure everything's good. I got a leash. Right. And pass it back to Guy. Good, and then we'll finish on that. We'll put her up. Um, so kind of, there, you got to see kind of progressions with, within this uh, kind of this drill, and this is their first time doing this particular drill. We've done other tactile things with them, but the first time doing this. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Any questions, let us know below.